聞こえ。Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Jesus is Lord of Lords and He is King of Kings. Welcome to Friday's broadcast. Praise God. This is the day the Lord has made, and of course, we are rejoicing and glad. <laughs> praise God. Yes, amen. So, Dr. Bell, give him a great big welcome right now. Well, good morning, everyone. We're, we're、um, loving what God is doing through our lives. Truly, we, wake, we woke up praising and thanking God for another day that we have never seen before. So, we just praise God and just thank Him for just being faithful. The, being the faithful God that He is. If He's so faithful, why cannot we be faithful? Amen. Just to come on this morning and just knowing that Jesus Christ is Lord. And if you have anything today, in need of today, God is going to be right there to meet that very need. So we welcome you again this morning. <laughs> and welcome, Ms. Montoya and、yes. Pastor Rita. Praise God. Welcome,、yes. welcome, welcome to all of you that are on live this morning with us. Praise God. And we want to welcome all of those that are also watching on Instagram, as well as you that are watching by YouTube. And whatever other means that you may be watching this, praise God. Maybe someone might have just shared this, sent you a link with it.、Yes. We welcome you、welcome. to our broadcast today. <laughs> praise God. Welcome. Uh, that's a、uh, son, son, niece. Praise God. Welcome today.、Amen. Good to have you with us today, also. Praise God. We're on every day, Monday through Friday. Praise God. Every morning at 9,、uh, I mean, excuse me, at 7 30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So go ahead and take some, a moment to share it with your friends. Let them know we're on. Got great things to share with you today.、Mm -hmm. We're celebrating mothers. Amen. We've been celebrating women. Well, this is time to celebrate women, mothers, wives, praise God, this whole month. And we've been excited about sharing something with you just for this whole week, praise God. It's been a great blessing. So, again, thank you all so much. Praise God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's broadcast. Praise、yes. God. Well, today, we're going, to be, we're going to be discussing today the profile, the, the profile, profile of a virtuous woman. Amen. You know, most of the times, when many of you, you, whether you if you set yourself up on Facebook, Or if you set yourself up on. <laughs> Amen.、Yes. That's good. That's good. Praise、and、God. Sundays at oh, oh, yeah. That's right, Montoya. Sundays <laughs> also at 8 30 a.m. Thank you, Montoya,、yes. for that. Praise God. <laughs> Now, many of you, you know, when you first set up on.、Um, On Facebook, or you set up on、uh, Instagram, one thing they ask you to do is create a profile.、Mm -hmm. And this sort of acquaints people with who you are, what you represent, where you live, you know,、uh, what your background is, your education, like that. And so people can kind of see you know, if they want you to be their friend or not,、yes. or if they want to follow you or not.、Yes. So a profile is very important.、Mm -hmm. So we've been talking about a virtuous woman this week. And、so、we've been talking about, all right, what is a virtuous woman? So I, I, I decided to go and think,、uh, uh, talk about today about a virtuous woman. Praise God. What is the profile of a virtuous woman? Praise God. A woman that, I mean, would just, just, that is successful. Yes. And, and as I did some studying it this morning, I got, to, I got a chance to see that this woman was not just a sit around, do nothing, waiting on somebody to bail her out woman. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. But she was a mighty woman of、yes. God. And so we're going to kind of go through that because this is, ladies, Let me say something to you. When God made you,、yes. the Bible said He made you and He said everything He made was very good.、Mm -hmm. So you need to know that you, in your original form,、uh, everything that's in you is very good. Sometimes what, what has happened in your lives, maybe the, you know, how you were raised, uh, uh, maybe boyfriends you've had, husbands you've had. Uh, 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 whatever's going on has really put, a,、uh, put you down and made you feel insecure and inferior. But I want you to start seeing that you are a virtuous woman. You are a queen.、Right. And the whole goal is discovery for recovery. Amen. <laughs> when you discover who you really are, then you will recover from what you, what, you, know, what you have become、That's、and、right. been through in your life.、Right. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. So we're going to start off reading. Here in the book of uh, 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 Proverbs, chapter 31, and we're going to read verse 10 through 12 for a moment. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Isn't that beautiful?、Yes. So that's number one. And we talked about that for the last few days as far as you know, her price being far above rubies. She's strong, she's wise. And we talked about yesterday about her being a wife and things like that.、Yes. But today we're going to talk about the profile of a virtual. Let's look at her profile now. And we look at this. Number one, she's industrious. Very industrious. And then she, you know, she's not just someone that sits around.、Uh, mm -hmm. This woman, again, when God created male, man, he created male and female、mm -hmm. at the same time. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, he said, Let us make man in our image、yes. after our likeness. 
and, and, and let them have them let them have dominion over fish of the sea, fowl there. Then he says that he blessed them, male and female. And female. So you have to know that you were created to be industrious. Mm -hmm. I mean that's that's inside of you. Oh yeah. And so let's look at this for number number three. Let's look at number thirteen. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. In other words, she develops, uh -huh. she's busy developing the best of what she has. Yes. So she's not complaining about what she don't have, mm -hmm. but she's working. She's yes, working. She is. Yes, so, she uh, is. Uh, and so that like what it says, she's working willingly with her hands. Mm -hmm. What's in your hand? Mm -hmm. What is your talent? Yes. What is your gift? Mm -hmm. What is your uniqueness? Mm -hmm. And you can take that as a virtuous woman yes. and create a whole business with it. That's right. And now we're going to see it shows that if this woman worked willingly with her hands, that means she, she used the hand that she was dealt. Yes. She, she, didn't, she didn't try to duplicate someone else. She didn't try to just be like someone else. Mm -hmm. But she said, what's in my hands? Yes. And, she, and she, dealt that, she, she dealt with the hand that yes, she was yes. dealt. And I want to talk to you about that today because you've been dealt a hand too. That's right. The Bible says God has given to every man, every man the measure. measure of faith. And so yes, you have a do. gift from God. Yes. And the Bible said it is your gift that makes room for you. That's right. And bring for a great man. So she worked diligently with her hands. With her hands. What she had to work with. That's right. Now, number two, let's look at read verse 14. She is a provider. Okay. And verse she is like the merchant ships. Mm -hmm. She bringeth her food from afar. So in other words, so she's a provider. Mm -hmm. So in other words, she, she's like a merchant ship. She bring her food from a farm. Yes. She takes care and makes sure so there's food in her house. That's right. So all while she is being this industrious, yes. she's a big, uh, she's a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. She's still been a provider, making sure her house is taken care of. Mm -hmm. And I like what it says. She bring her food from a farm. Uh -huh. She brings in imported goods. She's uh -huh. also an importer yes. of the very finest and the very best that's out there. That's right. You follow me? So you need to know that the ladies that, that that's what this all this what right here mm -hmm. in this virtuous woman mm -hmm. is what God placed inside of you. Yes. Now you, you have to discover it. You know, Bible says, seek and you shall find. Yes. Ask and it shall be given to you. Knock and the door shall be open. Yes. But I'm telling you that all we're gonna be talking about today uh -huh. is already you this is your profile, praise God. Uh-huh. And then also mm -hmm. I'm gonna read in another translation, verse 14 says, She moves through the market like merchant ships that dock here and there in distant ports, finally arriving home with food she carried from afar. Isn't that beautiful? So this is what we do when we go into the marketplace. We're finding, we're trying to find those deals. We're going in and out of the marketplace to make sure that our that that our home is truly uh, 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 multiplied with whatever we need in our own homes. I love that. That's yes. right, see. So this is your profile, you know. Yes. And so, so you're not just someone just just wasting your time. That's right. And so uh, number uh, uh, number fifteen. What does number fifteen say? Verse fifteen. But the title is she prepares and organizes her day. She rises also while it's yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portions to her maid. So that's the next point. <laughs> she rises while also it while there is night, yet night. Gives meat for her household. And what that lets me know, she, yeah. prepa she prepares and she organizes her day ahead of time. Mm -hmm. She's not a woman that stay in bed all day wanting somebody to do something for her. You got she it. She rises early in the morning mm -hmm. and she prepares for the day. And and I'm working on that one. <laughs> I'm not an early person. Uh, Apostle Craig, he's up at four in the morning, but I do. I get up at five forty-five, so that's early enough for me. <laughs> Amen. But the main Praise thing, whenever God. you get up, she, she comes yes. up with a plan. Yes, she does. She prepares. Yes, she and does. And the word "prepare" means to be ready in advance. <laughs> yes. So she already kind of knows what her day is going to be, and then she yes. organizes her day. She organizes. So, so I'm going to. This. These are the things I want to accomplish today. Yes. See. See. What, what I'm talking about is your day should not be just filled with activity, mm -hmm. but for what results. Yes. What are the results I want to accomplish today? That's good. not because you can get filled with doing so many things that has nothing to do with the results you want that to accomplish. So, true. so the thing about preparing and organizing yourself, mm -hmm. you say, all right, now what are the things I want to accomplish as a woman today? Beautiful. That that that'll add to my family, that'll add to my personal life. Yeah. And then she prepares herself based upon that. Yes. She organizes her day based upon that. Because what happens if you're not careful, you can go through the whole day, whole day. and and all exactly. you can do is talk about what happened in the soap operas or what happened on the in the news and like that. Mm -hmm. But if you prepare your day ahead of time, yeah. These are the things I want to accomplish today. These are the results I want to get out of today. Then that's how uh, uh, she rises up while uh, 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 while it is at night mm -hmm. and she prepares her day. Yes, she she gives me to her household and a portion to her maid. She makes sure that everybody's taken care of mm -hmm. and she got that thing already planned out. <laughs> that's a virtuous woman. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Now, uh, uh, number four, 
uh, uh, she has a plan for her future. Yes. She has a plan for her future. Uh, 16 says, she considered they feel and buys it with the fruit of her hand. She planted the vineyard. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> So her hands is, is yes, on something. Yes. Uh, she, she's planning for a future. Yes. Uh, she's considering a field. Uh -huh. And then she buys it. Yeah. Glory to God. She got some money. She got some money. Right. So she, so she <laughs> is wise yeah. and understands that what's in her hand. What's in my hand. You follow me? Yeah. And she considers, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into this kind of business. Mm -hmm. and, she, and, she, and she buys that. In other words, what do you have in your hand That's that right. you can buy? <laughs> you may not have a, a feel, but you have something that you can invest yes. in. Yes. That, that your hand, where your gift goes. And, and then it says she actually, then she buys, she makes a good investment. Yes. And then with the fruit of her hands, she with the plants. fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. Come on. So your vineyard is whatever business that you that God has given you, yes. whatever idea God has given you, you got to get busy and start planning for your future. All right. uh, we know that right now Corona is out there right now, and mm -hmm. we understand that. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Still like, corona is going to come to pass. Uh -uh. It's going to come to pass. Yes, it and will. it's now time for you to plan for your future. Consider your field. Mm -hmm. Buy it, invest into it, invest That's what good. you have into That's it, good. invest your gift into yes. it, invest your talent into it, and with the fruit of your hands, mm -hmm. see, see your hand is the gift yes. that God has given you, mm -hmm. it's the talent God has given you, mm -hmm. and it says you plant a vineyard, you go into business based upon that. Wonderful. Glory to God. Can Amen. you see that today? Yes. Now, so that's, that's how, I think it was Marie Callender's did. She was working oh, in yeah. a restaurant just and, and just making pies. And all of a sudden, her, she said, she said, I'm my hands are talented to make pies. Mm -hmm. And then she began to make pies and stuff. Now she became, she became Marie Callender's. Yes. And, and what I'm saying is that what is your gift? That's good. What is you good at? Are you farming? Mm -hmm. Consider that. Invest into that. And with your hands. With the hands God had dealt you, Beautiful. you invest in that invest. and you plan for your future. That's good. Your future is in your hands. <laughs> it's within your power. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Number five is what? She is strong, energetic, and a hard worker. Mm, isn't that beautiful? She, she, she girdles her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. So she's yes. not going around talking about what I can't do. Yeah. You know what? I, when I get married, my husband going to come and, and, and he's going to bail me out. No, no, no. I'm talking about what, that, what this is to you, yes. whether you're married or unmarried. That's good. Are you following me? Amen. You are a strong woman. Yes. You got to get energetic. Stop sitting around waiting on somebody to bail you out. Somebody stop waiting on your Boaz. Are you following me? You be the Boaz. You be, you be the, the head and not the tail. You be the above and not beneath. Are yes. you following me? It said that she girded her loins with strength. With strength. In other words, I'm not going to sit around waiting on somebody else. Mm -hmm. I, I'm strong. I'm a woman of God. I'm strong. And, and, and she said she's strengthened her arms. Yes. Amen. She, yes. And, 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 and she carries herself with confidence. That's right. You can tell confidence. that this is a virtuous woman. Yes. You know, I, I'm a business woman. Yes. You know, I, I, I got a plan for my day. Mm -hmm. I got a plan for my year. I got a plan for my months. I plan my weeks and my That's days it. to make sure that I'm successful. I'm strong. I'm energetic. I'm yes. not going around. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're sleeping Living all day somebody, long. Right. You know, have to sleep 10 and 12 hours a day. Uh, you, just tired. Just tired all the time. <laughs> things like that. No. She's strong. Yes. And she's energetic. Yes. And she's a hard worker. Praise God. You know, and uh -huh. see, that's who you are, ladies. Like I said, sometimes if you're not careful, society is told, is kind of put into women. Mm -hmm. Not not everybody now, but kind of subconsciously. Yes. You're the one that just, you know, take what, whatever's been dealt with to you by people. But you're the weaker vessel. That you're the weaker you're vessel. Weak. And we take that in the wrong connotation. Yes, that's and right. it's not that. W women are very strong. Now, if you're strong enough to bring forth a baby, and sometimes some women, well, I know my mother, she was a very strong woman. And she had 22 of us children. So now, if that don't take strength, I don't know what to do. Amen. Sit me down <laughs> somewhere and call me a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> So women are strong. Yes, they are. If you read the story yes. about De Deborah in the Bible, the yes. Bible says, I think, I, I, I forgot the name of the general. He said, I'm not going to even go to war unless you go with me. That's right. In other words, because I understand your strength. I understand yes. your influence. I think uh, in those areas. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is that women have always been strong. Oh, yes. But sometimes, like I said, at the, at the same time God created man, he created women at the same time. time. Yes, it is. said male and female created yes. he them. Yes. So ladies, that's always been inside of you. Praise but God. it's time to come out now and let the you come out of you. Because right. you. this is the profile of a virtuous yes. woman. Woman. And, and, and you carry yourself with, with confidence, uh -huh. you work hard, mm -hmm. and you strengthen your hands for whatever yes. task 
that is before you. That's right. You don't back down. You said, no, I can do all <laughs> things through Christ's strength. Yes. Oh, if, if God is in me, I'm more than a conqueror. Wonderful. Greater is he Greater that is that. in me than he that is in the world. So you got to begin to strengthen your hands uh, uh, for the task that is at hand. Uh -huh. Prepare yourself for the God that's working in you and yes. through you. And women, I'm telling something in the sense of God, women, you're on the rise right now. All right. So you got to get in this flow in Jesus' name. Amen. So number Amen. six is what? She makes... She makes sure her dealings are profitable and successful. Mm, isn't that good? Yes. And so, uh, number 18, uh, verse she, 18. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good, and her candles goeth, uh, goeth not, not out by night. So, what it says, she perceives that her merchandise is good, is meaning good, this. Uh -huh. She makes sure that whatever she's doing mm -hmm. is going to be profitable and successful. Yes. So, she's not just throwing her money into all kind of, well, you know, well, how about let's go into this business. Let's mm -hmm. try this business. No, no, no. She mm -hmm. makes sure before she gets into something that it's good yes, and it's profitable it and she's going to get increase from it. That's right. So, she's not just, but she, this is, she has a brain. Did mm -hmm. you know that you have the same kind of brain that a man has? That, that, that your brain and a man, in other words, man could probably, you know, somebody, a man could probably exchange brains with you. Uh huh. Because there's no difference. Like you're from in those areas. Heart, you can have a heart transplant when yes. a man, a man can give you his heart. A man can give you his kidney. Yeah. What I'm saying is, saints, is that you got to recognize that you are just a female, yeah. but you are of the male species. That's good. You just happen to be a female, you happen to be a womb man yeah but you are a man with the womb but that but you have the same authority yes. the same power and the same anointing that a man has that's All so right. important that's now right. there is some things in the domestic area Bible said the man's the head and thing like that right that's in domestic and the family and things like that mm -hmm. but when it comes down to being successful mm -hmm. you got to understand that you can perceive yourself that merchandise is good. Beautiful. That there is a perception inside of you as you get into a business mindset that mindset God gave you, and you'll be able to know, you know what, this is a be a good business for me to go into. Yes. Amen. Beautiful. And then it says her candle goes not night not out by night. night. Means this it means that she stays busy uh -huh. and she's not a, in a hurry to call it quits. Quit Are That's you right. following me? That's right. But she knows how to she knows how to search for bargains. Mm -hmm. Amen. She knows how to negotiate. <laughs> That's why I said she perceives her merchandise is good. good. She's a negotiator. Mm -hmm. And she makes sure that she knows when to buy mm -hmm. and when to sell. Mm -hmm. She's a businesswoman. Amen. And that's who you are. What I'm saying, ladies of God, I'm sharing with you your profile. Beautiful. I'm sharing with you what you can come up to mm -hmm. in those areas. And because they said that the, an excuse is just the language of the uncommitted. Uh oh. Once you commit yourself to something, that's right. all, all the excuses the can be removed in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, number seven. Point number seven. She's skilled in the crafts of of home and diligent in homemaking. Praise. Go ahead. In verse nineteen. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. That means that that means that she's skilled. Yes. She lays her hands again. Your hands. <laughs> what what some of your hands find to do? Uh huh. The Bible says. She lifts her hands to the spindle uh -huh. and holds her hands to the staff. That means you're gifting. Yes. Your skill. Yes. She Are knows you, that her success is good. Amen. She knows that it is she good. That's good. That's right. And and she's skilled in crafts at home. Yes. And she's diligent in homemaking. And I, I think about my wife. My wife is that you know she's skilled in crafts. She goes down to sometimes Michael's down there and comes up, comes up creative. She has a sewing machine in there. Praise yes. God. She's always and she gets a hat and she'll put bling on it. She's yes. always trying to find ways to use her hands. Yes. Your hand is your gift. That's it. Your hand mm -hmm. is your power to make you successful. Yes. Your hand is your power to persevere in pressure. That is so Whatever true. your hands find, find to do, 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 do it. Are you a me? <laughs> and the Bible said, God will bless all the work of your hands. hands. That's good. See, so you got to get your hands to some things because your hand, if you look at your hands, your hand is where your gift is at. This is a physical hand, right. but it's representing your gift, That's your good. talent wow. in those areas. Yes. Well, look here. Michael Jordan used his hands to play basketball, mm -hmm. made him a multimillionaire. Mm -hmm. Tiger used his hands to play golf. Multi-millionaire. Yes. What are you using your hands with for? What are you doing? Think about it. What are you using your gift for? Yes. That's what it's all about. And ladies, you are skilled. Yes, you are. You are diligent. Yes. Amen. And this woman, look at this woman. She was a wife. Yes. She was a mother. And she was a woman. Yes. Industrious businesswoman. Yes. That, so you can do all three. Yes, we can. Successful in Jesus' name. <laughs> so number eight, my point number eight. <clears throat> She's quick to assist anyone in need, reaches out to help the poor. Verse 20, 
She stretches out her hand to the poor, yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. Isn't that good? So yes. I like it that she's quick <laughs> to assist anyone in need. Quick. And reaches out to help the poor. Like my wife had this organization called um, My Heart Community My Heart Care. Community Care. So she's always wanting to find a way to help yes. poor. Many times we was in Phoenix. I, mean, I think on Saturday they would, they would call people in the neighborhood, feed, give them food and stuff like yes. that. Because that's that's and that's enabled within a woman's heart mm -hmm. to want to help the poor, to reach out to the needy. Yes. Are you following? So so my wife fits that profile also. Yes. Amen. She fits all. Actually, she fits all this profile. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is her profile. Amen. So so uh, and then number nine is what? This is not my point. Number nine. All her family is properly clothed. And verse number twenty one. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. You know that means everything she wears is prop. Her family is yes. properly clothed. Properly clothed. And, and, and see, that means that she makes sure that her family has properly clothed. Yes. And, and, and see, as my as my as my children coming up, my one thing my wife did is making sure that children are properly clothed. She doesn't tell her grandkids now. Yes. She be on the phone talking to them all the time. Do this, do that. Yes. Wear this. This is how you do that. Are you following? Because that's a that's a virtuous woman. She makes mm -hmm. sure that her family is properly clothed. Yes. Is that right? Uh -huh. and, and 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 verse nineteen says what? I'm talking no, no. verse 21, verse 21. 21. Yes. She is not afraid of her house. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. She makes sure that her household is clothed. Which, yes. Whether it's winter clothes or summer clothes, she makes sure she that makes her sure. children and whole, whole, whole household mm -hmm. is properly clothed. Yes. And that's also the nature of a rich woman. So I'm saying, you see the, the all-encompassing yes. uh, 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 view, uh, profile of this woman? Amen. You know, she was not just a wife, she was also a businesswoman. Yes. She was a mother, she was a wife, and she was a woman. Yes, beautiful. Uh, you're following triple, triple W, amen? <laughs> Praise God. Now, so, uh, uh, so number 10, number 10. Everything she wears is beautiful. Definitely yes. the profile of my wife. Yes. Is that right? Verse, what does verse 22 say? She maketh herself coverings of tappers. A tapestry, her clothing is silk and purple. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. Meaning she wears the best. Yes, she, she does. She always dresses in colorful linen. Yeah. And see, that's also, that's why ladies, don't just sit around looking like anything, like my wife was telling y'all yeah. the other day. It said that she maketh herself. Mm -hmm. She makes herself yes. a, a, a covers of tapestry. She clothes herself yes. in beauty. Dresses them fine, finely. So yes. don't just go out looking like anything, ladies. Right. That is not your profile. Amen. You, go then, ahead. Then not only that, what, what, what we as women, we tend to do, we tend to take care of everybody else. We make sure that our children are, are fed. We make sure they are clothed. We make sure they have have uh, food, enough uh, tennis shoes, whatever. I mean, just enough the hair combed and you know, all the bowls and making them look beautiful. But what about yourself? You should also... This virtuous woman, she says she make a cup tapestry and her clothing is silk and purple. So you need to learn how to dress the you up. You have to match your children. You have to match your husband. And to just to know that when you when you do that, people are going to look at you in a different light. Because if you don't look at yourself like that, people, oh, I can see why people be, you know, you know, saying, well, he ain't doing nothing for her. But you have to learn how to do it for yourself. That's right. So you just have to learn how to do something for yourself as a woman, and because she's a she's a she's a, a, a wise woman. Yes. Because she is a businesswoman. Yes. Because she takes care of a household. Mm -hmm. Look! Look what happens in verse number uh, uh, verse number twenty three. Verse twenty three. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sitteth among the elders of the land. Why is he known? <laughs> because her husband is known yes. and respected because there's a virtuous woman in back of him. Yes. Are well you fed. Me? He's well fed. Well dressed. Well dressed. Looking good. And so therefore, because <laughs> she, he has a virtuous woman that's yes. backing him, that's it good. says that people recognize her husband. Yes. That's that's Dr. Beverly's uh, husband there. Yes. Because, you know, I'm telling you, sometimes, right before we come home, she makes me change clothes sometimes because yes, like I'm not dressed properly. Because she's making sure that when I go out in the public, yes. I'm Representing her, Amen. are you a farmer? And so, and that, and that's why he's known mm -hmm. because a, a look, a man really is known because of the woman that's behind him, right. or that I can say that's aside Side him. Because God, God didn't take the woman out of man's uh, back, mm -hmm. and didn't take them uh, to be behind him. Right. He didn't take woman out of man's toes 
to be under him. He took the man out of a woman out of the man's side to be beside, beside him. him. And so Amen. that's what makes him known. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes. Amen. It was it Twilight? Every duck uh -uh. praises her own pond. That's right. That's right, Twilight. Amen. Praise God. Now let's go. Number twelve. What does number twelve say? She is a designer, manufacturer, distributor, and a wholesaler. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. See, notice what it says here in verse number um, twenty-four. Twenty-four. She maketh fine linen and silketh it and delivereth girdles unto the merchants. What, so what, what does that mean? That she mm -hmm. makes it. Yes. So she's the designer. And she goes and, and sells she it. sells it. So she's the manufacturer. She's the wholesaler, mm -hmm. and she gives it to the retailers. Yes. So this woman is, is this is a bad woman. Praise <laughs> God. Are you following me? So she's making the clothes. Yes. And then she's selling the clothes. Come on now. And then she delivers. She's a, she, uh, she she's also <laughs> delivering the clothes. Come on. So now. she is a designer. Yes. She's a manufacturer. Yes. She's a di distributor and a wholesaler. Come on. That's who you are, ladies. Amen. So when you when you put your hands to work, you are all inclusive, all that's inside of you. Yes. Is that good? Number 13. She is strong, clothed in strength and dignity. Verse 25. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. So so it said it's strength and honor is her clothing. Yes. In other words, you can see. That, that strength coming out of you. Come on. Because now you are at that verse. This is your profile. Yes. When people see you, they say, that's the profile of a virgin woman there. Look, she's strength. She's strong. And she's, and, 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 uh, and she's a woman of dignity. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and character. Strength. And, and that's who you are to begin from this day forward, ladies, to exude out of you. Amen. Let strength uh, and, 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 and dignity exude out of you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Is that right? Number Amen. 14. She smiles when she thinks about the future. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? That's yes. right. Because she's going to rejoice in time to in come. Time to come. So, so when you think about your future, lady, as a virtuous woman, you're going you're gonna <laughs> to smile because you said, you know what? I'm industrious. Yes. I'm a businesswoman. My family's taken care of. Yes. My husband is taken care of. And I'm in business and I'm successful in my business. Praise yes. God. Can uh -huh. you see that? Uh -huh. So number uh, 15. When she speaks, her words are wise. Verse, Verse 26. 26. She opens, she openeth her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is the law of kindness. Isn't that beautiful? That means whenever she opens her mouth, she has something worthwhile to say. Yes, yes she does. When a woman is virtuous, yes. you listen to those words yes. that come off her lips. <laughs> because she's one, a woman of wisdom. What she speaks is something you can apply in your life and be guaranteed results. Yes. Because when she says something, she, you know that it's worthwhile saying. And yes. then number 16... She directs the activities of her household. Never does she indulge in laziness. laziness. Verse 27, she looketh, way, she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. Isn't that good? So she takes care of her household. Yes, she does. She makes sure that her whole household is busy and productive yes. and, and does not tolerate laziness. That's right. Well, this is the profile of a virtuous woman. On, Monday, on, on Sunday, we're going to talk about celebrating mothers. Yes. And we're looking forward to that. But I wanted to give y'all your profile. And I said, yeah. my wife fits this profile. And I'm glad I got me a virtuous woman in Thank Jesus' you. name. Praise God. Because <laughs> as I was doing, I said, you know what? My wife, I'm checking this thing. That's Dr. Bell. That's Bell. That's Bell. That's Bell. That's Bell. That's Bell. She oh, is a virtuous woman. And God. so are you. Amen. 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 Now, today is Friday. And we always, on Friday, seal... Yes. Everything we talked about with, with, uh, with, with, with communion. Uh -huh. And we, we, because we're in covenant with God. Yes. And now that you've heard these things, lady, ladies, I want you to get, you get your drink and your bread. And we're going to have communion together. And we're going to seal what we've shared with you all this week. And we're trusting God. Men of God, too. I see many men of, men of God is on here, too. And, and let's, that's right, she is, that's right. Thank you. And let's take communion together. Yes. Now, Father, in the name Thank of Jesus, you, I pray for all the mighty women of God and us men of God yes, as we discover the woman of God that you brought into our lives you, and the woman that's going to go into other men's lives right now that may be single looking for a virtuous woman. Yes. We seal this in their spirit, God, the and Jesus. we declare that Satan will not be able to take his in word out of their hearts, Jesus. but it's been good seeds on a yes. good ground, and we expect fruitful, productive Thank women, you, virtuous women to come out of this uh, seed we've sown to their lives today. In Jesus', in Jesus name, name, amen. Let's take it together. And now... Hallelujah. The blood.
Glory to God. The blood of Jesus. Yes. That now you're hooked up. Your blood comes from God. Amen. You may not have been born in the right family, but you was born of the right family. Uh, and that's in the family of God. Amen. And so let's seal this with the blood of Jesus amen. now. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And now we thank God for you, each of you. This is also our partnership day. Hallelujah. Well, if, if what we share, which we believe now, we've, we, my wife and I have taken the time to pour into you spiritual things. Yes. To pour into you the anointing and the, yes. the, the knowledge and the wisdom that we have learned over the last 45 years Hallelujah. in ministry. And now we ask that you reciprocate. Amen. Paul said, if I'm sharing with you uh, spiritual things, it's only right for me to ask you to sow the natural, natural things to us. Amen. Because God allows you to be profitable in whatever area you're in, and you can sow your seed. Praise God. And Paul said to his partners, because you're partnering with me, yes. you're also partakers of my grace. You're also partakers of the anointing. You're sowing into the grace and the anointing that's on me and my wife as a, uh, me as an apostle and my wife that's with me right in, yes. in this meeting. And so what I'm saying to you today is that we're going to receive your tithe. We're receiving your offerings. Mm -hmm. There's a link at the top of the page. All you have to do is click that link. Mm -hmm. And that link will take you right to a place where you can give. You can sow your seed. Or you can sow your seed through my cash app. That's also there. And, and, and whatever God puts in your heart, yes. then we're going to receive that in love. Yes. And we believe in God that, uh, that, is, that you will obey God in the amount he tells you to sow. Yes. And we're going to agree with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ you, that you're so ladies, you're sowing into your anointing. Yes. You're sowing into my wife Thank anointing. You, this, yes. this anointing that's on her as a virtuous woman. Yes. You're sowing into us as a couple that's, that's coming right. forth Amen. bringing you this what we have to give. Yes. And we believe in God with you that as you sow into this, you're going to reap at that same level in your home, Praise in your God. family, Praise in your God. personal life as a woman of yes. God, as a man of God. Amen. So in the name of Jesus, Father, we, you, we, we, we pray right now for every person. And on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ, yes, Father, we receive their, their, their seed yes. and their offering into this yes, ministry. Father. And we set ourselves in agreement with them, Father, that according to that which they give, yes, it is given back to them good measure, good measure pressed pressure. down, shaken together, yes. and running over. I'm asking you, God, Thank that the grace, grace, the favor, grace. and the blessing that is on my wife and I's life, yes, it will also be transferred unto them as they're partnering with yes. us. In the name of in Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. So we receive their gift Hallelujah. on your behalf yes. and we send your blessings to yes. them right now. We send favor to them. We send yes. increase to them yes, in, the in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for it, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Jesus amen. Name. We love amen. you so much. Love you. We're going to look forward to being with you all. Many of you that will be on Sunday morning. Sunday. We will be back on again on Sunday morning for a great message. We come on at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I think Arizona time at the same time. Mm -hmm. This coming Sunday morning for another great work celebrating mothers. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. We Amen. love you. Dr. Bell, give them a final word. Well, ladies, I want to wish you a very happy Mother's Day. If your mother is not here, you can still rejoice in the things that she has instilled into your life. Don't be sad about anything. Just know that God has your back if you don't have a mother. And if you don't have a mother, go find a mother. Call some call somebody else's mother and encourage them. And then when you do that, you're putting seed right back into your own life. So we, we praise and we, we, we thanking God that you're going to have a blessed Mother's Day. Don't let anything worry you. You just go and be the woman that God has called for at, at this time. So we love you and God bless you. And again, happy Mother's Day. Amen. <laughs> you are a wife. Yes. You are a woman and you are a mother. Yes. Who can beat that? Who can beat that? Love you so much. <laughs> this is Apostle Alfred Craig. We'll see many of you back on Sunday, Monday, day 30. Until yes. then, this is Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bess. Say, may God's riches, may his riches and his, his very best, best be yours. God Have a blessed you, day. Bye-bye now. We love you.